This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only. Anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. Well, guys, I've been, you know, off the grid for a couple of days. I was getting some things done. I was locking in and uh, getting that appellate brief done for the courts and getting the appendix done. I'll let you guys know that it is complete. I will be sending it out to the courts tomorrow. And then I will be back doing videos. I will be back on point exposing all the fraud and corruption in the market and telling you guys what I think about what I see and how I'm analyzing the data that I see. I'm going to tell you guys something. The bad actors, justice is coming for them. Okay? They can hide. They can pay off the politicians. They can do all the corrupt things that they do in order to manipulate the market and rob and steal from retail investors. But I will keep fighting if I have to take this all the way to the Supreme Court because what they're doing to us is absolutely outrageous. The fraud and corruption in the United States stock market is out of control. And the thing is, you got the richest people on the planet breaking laws that are bent in their favor in order to rob retail investors, in order to rob pension funds, in order to rob institutions and follow the rules. And the SEC, the FBI, and the DOJ knows exactly what they're doing and they allow them to do it anyway. And you know why? Because we are the ones that's losing money. If one percenters were losing money because of these type of transactions, they would shut it down. They would have a joint task force going after the bad actors. But because the ones losing money are retail investors, pension funds, and institutions that follow the rules, nobody cares. And I'm going to tell you what, Robin Hood, Ken Griffin, Citadel, DTCC, FINRA are not going to be happy because they probably thought they were going to get till January to sit around and, and do nothing with this case. But I locked in. I did the research. I put it together. I got it done. And it will be sent to the the 11th Circuit Court of Appeals tomorrow, if you look at the top, that is the new docket number that the case will be called on. And hopefully we get this three judge panel and they see the fraud and corruption in the market and they order these bad actors to turn over the trading history of AMC, GME, MMTLP, MULN, and all the other stocks that they manipulate every single day if what they were doing was not illegal they would have turned over the blue sheets to show us that they're not engaged in criminal activity but they do everything in their power not to turn over the trading history because the trading history is the smoking gun the trading history is gonna prove what they've been doing is going to give us a very clear picture of what's been going on over the last four years. And the thing is, the SEC, the DOJ, and the FBI can get that information anytime they want, but they don't do it. And you know why? Because these bad actors control our politicians and the politicians control the heads of these agencies. But hopefully... Hopefully, when Trump takes office, he puts people in charge who care about a fair and transparent market, who care about protecting retail investors, pension funds, and institutions that follow the rules. And if that happens, if somebody is put in charge of the DOJ, of the FBI, of the SEC, who cares about the United States stock market, who cares about fairness and transparency, a lot of the bad actors are going to lose a lot of money and some of them are probably going to end up in handcuffs. 
because what they've been doing for the last four years is absolutely outrageous. And it is, in my opinion, the biggest financial crime in the history of this planet. Okay? The biggest financial crime in the history of this planet. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think the bad actors are going to be upset? That I got this legal work done in a week when they thought it would take 60 days. Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.